Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the bench. Today I want to talk about my new power supply. It's a Siglent model SPD-3303C. It's Siglent's most basic entry-level model. And the price of it here in the U.S. is $289. And I'll discuss why I selected this model, do a little bit of overview on it, and take a look at what it replaces on the bench. Like I said, this is the most basic model Siglent sells of their power supply line. And it has an LED readout of voltage in green and current in red. It has three outputs. You have your two main channels. They go from 0 to 32 volts and up to 3.2 amps. The third channel has three fixed voltages of 2.5, 3.3, and 5 volts at a maximum of 3.2 amps. The neat thing with this is you can set it to series so you can get 64 volts out at 3.2 amps or you can parallel it so you can get 0 to 32 volts out at up to 6.4 amps and we'll check that out a lot of times on these power supplies at the top end of the range you may not get you know the full current but I don't know it's something that needs to be tested very simple interface, intuitive. You know, if you want to set the voltage and the current, it's quite easy. First, you pick the channel. You can pick channel 2, channel 1, and you can select your volt or your amps and just give the dial a whirl. And you can see the voltage will step by tenths of a volt. You can hit the find button and adjust and adjust by hundreds of a volt and same thing with current you can adjust by and we went you get a little beep if you go below the limit uh, or so we're going by tenths of an amp or 100 milliamp steps and again you can hit fine and adjust by 10 milliamp steps. And to turn the output on, you just hit the bottom button down here. So channel 1 output, turn that on. Channel 2, you can turn that on. Or you can hit this button to turn them all on. You'll get the little indicator lights below for each channel that's turned on. And you have some other neat features like you can store settings. So you can, uh, you know, let's say I adjust the stuff I want, you know, adjust channel 2, except it's current to something. And then you can save that. So you hit save and just select the memory bank and hit save and you can recall. So let's see what I saved in uh, the first memory. And I just hit that and I had this saved in there. Let's see what I put in three. It's the one I just put in and there it pulls it right back up. So you can set up common combinations and save it into memory. And here is the serial and parallel buttons I discussed earlier. And if you don't want any of the buttons to function, you're doing something critical, you don't want the buttons to get bumped, you just push and hold lock and nothing, nothing will work now. Hold it again to unlock it. So you can't just jab the button, you have to hold that button for about a second to activate it. So that's about it. It's very simple to use. Like all Siglent instruments, it supports the SCPI, which 
they call it Skippy for short. It's uh, standard commands for programmable instruments. So you can put some software on your computer, connect the supply via USB, and you can send commands to this supply from the computer and read you know, some of the readings back to the computer so you can uh, do data logging or whatever you'd want to use that for. That's something I'm not really interested in using this for. I just needed a supply with uh, better capability for the bench. So what does this supply replace on my bench? Well, it's going to replace my Radio Shack Micronta Adjustable Dual Tracking DC Power Supply. This has been very reliable. I've had it for 30 years. However, it's, it's limited. It only goes up to 15 volts on each channel, rated at 1 amp. And uh, as I'm testing amplifiers and things, uh, I often run into problems of not having enough voltage or current available. Now if I'm testing a 12 volt product, I have this power supply here. It's regulated. It goes up to 2.5 amps. The actual output voltage is like 14 volts. Well, because this one will handle that and it puts out 3.2 amps, I can do series and parallel. I can get up to 64 volts in series mode and do parallel mode and get up to 6.4 amps of output. So, you know, it replaces this. This here is a homemade dual supply. It's not regulated. You know, it's a plus 12.6, minus 12.6 supply, depending on the current. It actually, you know, with no load, it goes up to about 18 volts per side. I'll probably keep these around, have other uses for them, but... My main supply for the bench will now be this. A couple other observations. It, it does have a fan, but it's very, very quiet. If you're drawing heavy load, it might ramp up a little bit, but it's still a pretty quiet fan relative to my Rigol oscilloscope here. And when you see it in the pictures, it seems to be larger, but it's... You know, it's fairly small. It is, you know, kind of deep compared to, like, the oscilloscope here. But it's not really big. It's, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Another thing, back when Dave Jones reviewed one of the Siglent models, he was complaining that the banana connectors were very loose, but, you know, apparently Siglent fixed that because they're nice and snug now very snug no issue there okay I've hooked up this 4 ohm load which I use for testing audio amplifiers with but I will use it on the channel 1 output here so I have 4 volts set so 4 volts 4 ohms I should get 1 amp output so right now the output's turned off, so it's only showing me my settings. So I turn the output on, and now it'll show what the actual current is. Now it's a little bit less than one, because I'm using these clip leads with the banana plugs on this end. Fairly long. I'm sure I'm losing some voltage there. Well, I put my meter in series, so I did lose a bit more, but you can see here it's pretty accurate on the display. At least these meters agree with each other. And this wire is in the way, but the light is green here. So let me turn up the voltage. I have it set for... Let me turn that off a second. I have it set for 1.3 amps. So right now it's in constant voltage mode. But as we increase the voltage, eventually we're going to exceed that maximum current that's set. 
and you can see what happened here. This light turned red, so now it's in constant current mode. See, I can turn the knob and it shows what I set, but when I stopped turning the knob, it stopped at 5.85 volts. And that's because of constant current. Now if I go here, I can bring up my current. You can see it came out of constant current mode. So this voltage can rise again. And of course if I start turning it up, it will return to constant current mode. Okay, I've connected my meter at the terminals. If I connect it at the load, I'll be measuring the drop in the wires. And you can see that the voltage is pretty darn accurate. Now I've adjusted the current for 3.2 amps on channel 1. And we'll turn the output on. And now it's showing the measured current. And you can see it agrees. And I'll just hold this here and turn up the voltage until we get maximum current. We'll see what it stops at. Okay, well it does hit 3.2 amps, so it is putting out its rated current. Now let's check current in parallel mode. So now this output is linked up to this one in parallel. So you can see here as I adjust the voltage it changes both channels because they're linked together so they have to be exactly the same. And I gotta make this quick because the resistor will heat up very fast. And we'll crank this up. To maximum current. Looks like it stops at 6.3 amps. Almost maxed out. Well, I guess that's it. We are in current limit mode now. So let me turn that off before things get toasty with our resistor. For the final test is series mode. And I'll just hook this 120 volt, 300 watt bulb to the output. And I'll just crank it up and see the voltage. Okay, we'll turn that on. And it just reads the um, output voltage of each channel, so you have to double it. And the bulb is on a little bit because we're at oh, around 25 volts. So I'll crank this up. And the bulb's getting brighter. 40 volts. And here the step relays kicking in. And that's it. Let's see if I can't move the meter close to the outputs here for a better reading. These are the worst alligator clips. You squeeze them and they twist sideways. <laughs> They're lousy. Okay, so you can probably see from the side this light is pretty bright. And 63.6 And the current is 1.54 amps. And the meter wanted to turn itself off. So that's it for the overview of the Siglent 
model SPD-3303C power supply. Hopefully it lasts. Gives me years of service on the bench here. That's one thing I can't test, but seems to be designed well enough. It should do the job. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I might be able to answer it for you. And that's it. Thanks for watching.